Blew the walls out completely, all the windows blew out. Neighbors were running, you know, reacting. Ken Garcia is a resident at the Washington Courtyard Apartments on 7th Street in West Sacramento. My son was sleeping. All the pictures started falling out of our walls. I didn't know what happened. I heard the loud explosion. He shot this picture shortly after hearing the explosion, just after 10.30 a.m. You can see smoke coming from the unit, the walls blown out from the building just before they came down. We have a fire station that's fairly close, and the crew in that station heard the explosion. Upon arrival at this uh, uh, apartment complex, found uh, significant damage indicative of an explosion. Um, not a severe amount of fire, but some fire. They quickly uh, extinguished the fire. There's a grass fire additionally uh, behind me to the left. They extinguished that and then they transitioned into searching for victims. Two people suffered minor injuries and declined going to the hospital. Residents say one of the units was under reconstruction and that the smell of gas was detected earlier in the week. We have heard the same thing and we are um, following up on that information. We will be definitely looking at that as a possible uh, cause and origin as a gas incident. West Sac Fire Deputy Chief Mark Cullison says the explosion severely damaged 14 units in that building and displaced 34 residents. They requested help from the Sacramento Fire Department. We have rescue technicians that are very specialized in water rescue, um, things like this, explosions that happen where they're going to be shoring up this building um, and creating temporary shores just to make sure the building is safe for now. We, we feel very fortunate in that context. Uh, Despite the significant building damage, we feel very fortunate in this instance that we did not have more injuries or perhaps fatalities. And again, the exact cause of this explosion is under investigation, but fire officials said that they are counting their blessings, that no one was seriously injured considering it's a Sunday and many people are home. Reporting in West Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.